Hey guys, this is Patrick. This video is for Project 2 within the Mobile Interfaces and Usability course for January 2012. So what went well? Um, just initially jumping right into the course or the, the week and watching all the videos. It was a lot of fun watching the videos. It was pretty amazing watching the videos. I didn't understand what jQuery Mobile really did and it's amazing stuff. So I really enjoyed that and initially just implementing the code um, it was fairly easy again initially I hit, did hit a roadblock then my icons you know using uh, illustrator to create these icons I had a lot of fun with that so that was cool what didn't go well I hit a huge roadblock I was thinking way too much I was imagining uh, JavaScript and pulling from the JSON into my recommendations and just stuff we haven't really learned yet so um, glad Robin put me in the right direction and um, once I was thinking correctly and not overthinking it everything went really well um, also just not knowing every detail to jQuery mobile um, obviously there's a learning curve and I'm still learning that learning curve um, and um, you know how does this relate to previous jobs experiences I'm just relating it to last week to be honest last week um, we put everything in the place that we wanted to show it within the application um, but for me even in my last video I said you know it doesn't look that great um, and I, I was really waiting for this week which I thought is the week that we would you know, really start doing some extra design to it and now I think I, I really like it I like the look of it um, how does this um, you know relate to future uh, endeavors work job experiences well uh, now knowing a little bit of jQuery mobile, I imagine that I really want to dive into um, jQuery. Uh, they're obviously hand in hand and um, I want to learn both of them. So going through the application real quick, it's friendly recommendations. Um, what you do is you create, save, and share your recommendations. Um, on the first page, I have them listed by category on both sides. This is on the left, the right app. This is on the right, the wrong app. The wrong app actually I think is visually more appealing initially. However, the functionality isn't what I want. Um, I want to be able to search these very easily and I imagine these are not the only categories that I could have. I could have more. So being able to search for them um, is better, which is what you can do over here with this filter and these list items. I just don't know how to do that over here. So um, then let's see, I've got the right here, the call to action, which is adding a new um, item through the JavaScript we've done. And then here's all the dummy data um, that we are supposed to have. Oops. Then what else? We have, um, once we go into the list, all recommendations for both of them. I didn't like the list inlay. Um, I really wanted to get to a final destination of somewhere the user is going to get to. And what I did was the w one window drill down, you got to that final destination where I imagine there's going to be a link down here that allows you to email this to a friend or something. Um, that didn't really happen over. You're just kind of expanding, collapsing, you know, your recommendations. I just, it wasn't what I was looking for. I, I thought this when one window drill down was better. Um, and then also in terms of the news feed, uh, I rated these. Um, so five is the best and on down. And then um, I categorized them by rating first. And then what I did is I categorized them then by um, alphabetical order. So did I have any experience with jQuery Mobile? No, not at all. Um, and has jQuery Mobile helped improve usability? Yes, completely, I think, especially with the search feature. But the overall look um, and I, I think just be a user being able to click through these transitions that happen, it's all awesome. So that's it. Look forward to week three.